If I could speak in any language in heaven or on earth, but didn't love others, I would only be making meaningless noise like a loud gong or a clanging cymbal. If I had the gift of prophecy and if I knew all the mysteries of the future and knew everything about everything, but didn't love others, what good would I be? If I had the gift of faith so that I could speak to a mountain and make it move without love, I'd be no good to anybody. If I gave everything I have to the poor and even sacrificed my body, I could boast about it, but if I didn't love others, I would be of no value whatsoever. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. Love does not demand its own way. Love is not irritable and it keeps no record of when it has been wronged. It is never glad about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. Love will last forever. There are three things that will endure, faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. In high school, we were on our way home from school, and there were a couple girls in the back seat of our 91 Buick, and they were all screaming and squealing because Jason Kane, the homecoming king, had just texted Jamie and wanted to hang out. So it was kind of a big deal. I can honestly say that you are someone who I look up to so much, and your kind, loving, strong heart. When I look at that, I see an image of mom. And anyone that knows mom and knows her heart understands that that is so something to be admired. Um, James, you look beautiful. And not just today, but all the time. You are a beautiful woman of God. And um, your heart of compassion and generosity and your desire to serve others is truly something I admire in you. I'm getting married. Jamie, uh, you married an amazing man. Jason is a natural born leader. Many times I've been in the front of a canoe with Jason in the back guiding our path. Whether the water was calm, wavy, or downright stormy as we made an illegal border crossing back from Canada, <laughs> I observed Jason keep a constant awareness and take in the surroundings to make sure that we got to the right destination. So you guys, I see this metaphorically re uh, representing your relationship where your marriage is the boat that you're in together. Uh, I see Jason in the back and I know with 100% confidence that uh, he's got God's word down there as the map that he's following. Now that Jason and Jamie have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and the giving of rings, by the authority given me by the Church of Jesus Christ and the State of Minnesota, I announce to you that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Put you before